kids won't get theirs for a while, but new state report cards show the Miami Valley's biggest school district is not making the grade. Kelly May is here after questioning Dayton's superintendent. Kelly? Jack Dayton Public Schools received all D's and F's on their report card from the Ohio Department of Education today. The superintendent, Lori Ward, tells me she hopes the community can look beyond those grades at what the district is doing. I wish I could sit here and say we had A's in all categories. But Ohio's official report card for Dayton Public Schools, two D's and six F's. The district only scored in the 62nd percentile for performance index. How many Dayton students passed state tests? We actually have 14,000 children who many come to us not ready for school. And you have to work harder to actually make sure that children reach a particular proficiency level. The report card shows those 14,000 students met less than 9% of the state's standardized test indicators, an F in overall progress, and an F for graduation rates, even though 12% more students are graduating from Dayton Public than were four years ago. Superintendent Lori Ward says grades aren't everything. It is the Ohio accountability system. It is what it is. But I will say this, um, I will ask people to go to the district's website and see our stories that go behind the grades. For example, my son's a 4.2 grade point average student and done with ACT, so he goes to Dayton Public Schools. At Football Friday for Thurgood Marshall High School, Dayton parents were mixed about the progress in the district. I think that the people looking online should actually come into the schools and see what the schools are doing as opposed to looking at some uh, statistics or some data that's uh, suggest that our kids are one way or the other. So they can have a better education, they need to get stricter on them. Now aside from Dayton, here's what some other district report cards look like. Oakwood and Bellbrook both earned A's. Centerville, Beaver Creek, Kettering, Troy, Tecumseh, Vidalia, Springboro, and Eaton schools all received B's. Fairborn, Huber, Piqua, Sydney, and Xenia, they all got C's on their report card. And like Dayton, Springfield, and Trotwood, they received D's. This is the second year Ohio school districts have been graded with the letter system. Deb?